dear listeners and audience you are requested to like and subscribe my channel and click the bell icon as well thank you in the name of allah the most gracious the most merciful to whom we all have to turn back honorable listeners and respectable audience assalamu alaikum you know that uh, we have started a series of linguistics class and uh, the purpose of this class is that uh, you could know about linguistics syntax semantics social linguistics psycho linguistics micro linguistics and uh, macro linguistics listeners and audience the past chapter which we started about linguistics that was how language was originated before going to talk about the new topic let me tell you uh, the short summary of the first chapter because today we want to uh, cover the chapter in the first chapter Uh, the origin of language we talk about that how language was originated how language was developed and we uh, deducted that language is a divine source it is a divine source and uh, we talk about the two popular experiments which took place in different countries one took place Uh, in scotland and another uh, in egypt both kings king pero and the next king king of scotland king james uh, they uh, did their experiments and the conclusion was that that human beings uh, the children the new born babies when they are kept in isolation uh, without other uh, children with the passage of time they are able to speak a language which is not the language of the country uh, but that is a, a divine language however other linguists then coming teacher they uh, came with their point of views that those children who are a bit younger when they are kept in isolation uh, without other children then they are not able to speak even a single language in a single word however then we talk about that uh, there are certain qualities in characteristics which shows that human beings they are having the ability to speak is compared to other creatures like we talk about the human being have certain uh, features like uh, vocal cords pharynx larynx face same is the case uh, the teeth and uh, the lips of human beings which have strong musculars uh, which are which are very strong and uh, strong muscles they have so with the help of these muscles the teeth uh, the lips and the teeth of human being they are able to produce even uh, intricate sounds like p and p and v and uh, uh, f so we did discuss this now let's come uh, to today topic and today topic is human beings they are able to speak as compared to other uh, creatures because of uh, their genetic source because of genetic source because of innate ability because of innate capacity human beings they are able to speak this is the basic uh, message and the basic theme of uh, our today topic <coughs> so let me uh, first talk about that human beings speak due to genetic source and innate capacity this is the title and the topic of our today uh, chapter and this chapter the origin of language it was uh, covered and completed today by the grace of allah subhanahu wa taala 
एस वी टॉक अबाउट दैट ह्यूमन बींग्स दे आर एबल टू प्रोड्यूस साउंड दे आर एबल टू टू स्पीक लैंग्वेज एंड स्पीच बिकॉज दे हैव ऑलरेडी द कैपेसिटी दे बिकॉज ऑफ देयर जेनेटिक सोर्स you know when a child is born many changes uh take place in the bodies of the those uh, new born babies new born children they are able uh to start speaking let me talk about uh, the changes which take place in the bodies of the new born babies what kind of change uh, take place first of all talk about the brain let me talk about the brain of human being you know if you compare uh, all other parts of human being all other organs of human being the brain is uh, a bit small is compared to other but it has the power of learning it has the power uh, to to create something even from a very early stage how it is first of all the the pharynx and particularly the larynx of human being the child and the newborn baby they are very large in size but with the passage of time they descend and the mind in the brain of human beings they develop after uh, this development you you see some changes in the newborn baby that they are able to drink and uh, take breath at the same time so they are taking breath and drink at the same time so this is one kind of change so as i talk about that with the passage of time their brain develop and they are able to start a uh, walking to start talking and they adopt a prayed posture they are adopt a, a prayed posture this is another uh, ability which shows that human being they are able to speak and they have the ability and the capacity to speak now there is a question and the question is that how it is possible that the children they have uh, the ability and the the here the children they are given the capacity the capacity of uh, speaking learning already programmed uh, and kept in the mind of human being what would be the right answer to this question to make it sure with argument answer to this question is that you know if a child is uh, born at death he is uh, not able to speak because he is deaf but with the passage of time that child which was born deaf he has the ability to understand and to know and to act uh, as a sign language so any thing you find it toward that child he understands and he knows and he want to sh- to show his sign language with the help of his hands with the help of his head he is nodding if he is uh, for example uh hungry he shows different sign of language so this sign of language shows that this capacity is already programmed uh and uh, wired in the brain of that child they through that program the child know the language this is one example and uh, take the example of uh, 
uh, another children they also have this kind of uh, uh, tendency this kind of capacity though they are uh, sometimes suffering with other diseases and to those children who are deaf they show their postures according to different circumstances what to do what not to do what to accept what not to accept even they uh, try to uh, escape themselves from su such things which are dangerous and uh, uh, detrimental for them even they are small what does this show this seems to indicate that human offspring are born with the special capacity that human beings are born with the special capacity for language and it is innate capacity and innate capacity is ability it is a capacity uh, which is not learned innate behavior and innate capacity is a kind of capacity it is not learned it is kept it it is programmed and question arises who kept it almighty allah so this kind of ability is programmed in the mind of human being so it is innate no other creature seems to have it the capacity of uh, able to speak to learn uh, the thing then uh, from the society but already the capacity is programmed now there is a question the question is that does this capacity tie to a specific uh, variety of language no this capacity is not uh, tied to a variety of language it is possible that this language capacity is uh, programmed in their mind you know the question is that it is possible uh, that uh, it is uh, tied only with one variety of language no if you speak many languages before the newborn babies they will be able to speak even many languages they will not be then uh, just monolingual they will be bilingual they will be multilingual monolingual will mean a person who speak one language bilingual will mean a person who speak uh, two language and uh, multilingual will mean who speak more than two or three language many languages uh, who are able to speak and uh, this is true uh, when we were at uh, the uh, university of lahore and uh, we were uh, just listening so many examples uh, from our teacher one of our teacher uh, they were talking about their children that they are multilinguals they are even uh, speaking more than two languages and when we asked it how is it so they said it because uh, like urdu is uh, their international language punjabi they also speak uh, at home and they also see that we also speak uh, before them english is a third language so then they are able to speak without any problem so they are multilingual so this also indicate that human being uh, they have the capacity they have the capacity and that is innate capacity so when you just uh, give any input to that capacity so then they are able to show output take the example of computer in computer the programs they are already installed so they have already programmed many computers software uh, already programmed hardware already programmed and so many other applications dictionary you just give input to computer and the computer they provide you show you output now uh, there is a very interesting uh, point 
And the point is that if we compare the innate capacity of human being with other creatures, other creatures they also have uh, such capacity. Let me talk about uh, past human being, that human being they have uh, certain qualities, certain capacities when a new uh, baby is born. First of all, I am sharing with you uh, some uh, qualities of human being. For example, one capacity of human being and uh, a newborn baby has when he is born that is the sucking of milk. The ch newborn child he has the ability and the capacity and innate behavior and innate knowledge to suck the, the nipple of mother, to suck the milk uh, from the nipple of mother. So it is one in that ability of the child, of the newborn baby. The next uh, uh, quality and innate ability of the newborn child is that, that a newborn child, if you just place your finger or on, a, on his palm, he will try to grasp your finger. So this is actually not, he did not learn it. It is innate. It is gifted to him. It is natural. And there are so many other examples, but these two are too much popular, so I present it before you. Now let's come to uh, other interesting examples uh, from other creatures, particularly uh, the animals. You know, first example about teeth example of the chicken. When they come out fro from the eggs, then they are able to drink. They are able to take and eat uh, uh, the grain. So you know, no one taught them in the world. Uh, how you will eat and how you will drink, they already have the capacity, the ability that Allah Almighty have already uh, taught them that ability uh, by His by His knowledge, through His knowledge. So this kind of ability is already gifted in program in your brain which they are able how to drink and uh, how to take grains. Take uh, another, uh, let me talk about another behaviors and in naturality of other animals that this topic can be more clear to you. You know, uh, take the example of uh, animal migration. Some animals, they migrate from one area and to another when the seasons change. When the weather is hot, <coughs> sorry, they go to one place and when the weather is cold, they go to another place. So this is also a naturality which is already gifted and programmed to them. Another interesting example is <coughs> the pupil, pupil fish. It is a one variety of fish. So pupil fish try to swallow air or water and inflate. Why? To protect, uh, to protect themselves from other uh, predator, from other animal, to not catch them, to not attack them. <clears throat> Another interesting example is about <clears throat> the hen. When you try to catch any uh, chicken, so the hen will get angry. <coughs> Sorry. The hen will get angry and uh, also will try to attack you, even to bite you. So this is show the innate ability, the innate capacity. Same is the case, the example of uh, a dog. 
if you come close to a dog and you just take and pick up a stone to to pelt it with the stone so the dog will automatically starts or just try to uh, start bub bub and uh, very interestingly when you see the hen and uh, the hen see some grains the hen will try to produce different sounds to impress the chicken to come close to the hen so listeners and i guess these few interesting examples i shared with you and this lead us to uh, innate hypothesis Uh, which is the hypothesis of uh, Noam Chomsky. Noam Chomsky. Noam Chomsky is a very popular uh, linguist, politician, writer in the history of America, and he worked a lot in this field of linguistics uh, as well. So <clears throat> he, <clears throat> sorry, he developed this theory. He he developed this theory and. Uh, he say that human beings they are born with the special device with the special capacity and call it lad language acquisition device that human beings have been already given this uh, <coughs> capacity which is known as lad language acquisition device so through this device they are able to uh, take input and learn the thing so listeners and audience this was uh, all about uh, today topic hope that you would have acquired this topic thank you